But you got to remember, this is the era that the traditional role of women was changing. They'd just gotten the boat. They were beginning to work outside the home. And I bring that up because this entire episode is about women and their occupations, some of which may be considered non-traditional for women, if you can still say that. And if you can't, don't tell this first group of ladies because they're not only changing the game, they're playing it. We are here at Madison Ridgeland Academy. Um, we are in our third game. We're playing Houston Heat. And we're just basically right now, we're just practicing, um, getting our warm ups done and everything before our game starts at 7 o'clock. My name is Lena Sistrunk, and I'm a linebacker. I heard about women's football in 2017. How it all started is, is that I really wanted to basically lose some weight. <laughs> and um, I heard about this flag team. And so one time we had practice, flag practice and tackle practice together. And so they had on pads I didn't and I was tackling them. And I just was like, oh, I like this, you know, this really stress, you know. And so ever since then I've been playing. I'm Cameron V. I'm the co-owner and general manager of the Mississippi Lady Panthers. I was actually planning on doing a women's flag football game. A couple of players like uh, LaShonda Griffin and Regina and Alana asked to start a tackle team. It's been around for way longer than people know, uh, besides the, you know, the cliche lingerie football league. Actual women's tackle football has been around for a while. And here in Jackson, we just started it based on the fact we didn't have anything here. We wanted something here. We wanted to provide a better opportunity for some of the girls around Mississippi as a whole, not just Jackson. So we started the team. I heard about it probably about four or five years ago. Well, growing up, I always played football outside with the guys. And I wanted to play when I was in middle school, but we had to have our parents' permission back then. My mom was like, no, you're not going to play. When it finally got brought to Mississippi, I was like, I'm a little older, but it was an opportunity that I wanted to take advantage of. This league, the WNFC, the Women's National Football Conference, is the premier women's football league, and they're trying, they're really trending and really doing everything in the way that you would expect a professional organization to do. It's really no difference from men's football. The only difference, I guess, is the length of schedule. In women's football, we play six games in the WNFC. For us, we uh, only play in the summertime. Um, it's between April until June, and then we have our playoff season, which is in July. Um, so that's the time frame that we play, and then the rest of the season, we getting ready for the next season. When you come to one of our games, you're going to see everything. You're going to see the intensity that the players bring, the coaches. You're going to see some explosive plays. You know, we've got former top-level athletes on the team who, after college or something, they just couldn't make it to the next level or was no next level. You know, there's no major league women's baseball or major league women's volleyball, so they just needed something. I actually played basketball for Bellhaven University, and now I'm playing football. On the football field, it's a lot more team-oriented than it, than it was on the basketball court. I just like actually being around other people and just kind of, you know, building bonds with different people. You've got all avenues of life on this team, and I can't be thankful enough for the things that they do, the things that they offer, the things that they sacrifice. I never can say that enough, how much I appreciate my team. There's a lot of people who need things outside of their everyday mundane life. We don't know what they're going through personally. I know a lot of our players, it helps them cope with stress problems at home and things like that. So I like being an outlet and being something else that people can look forward to doing every week. 
I was in foster care. Uh, I grew up in foster care and then I was adopted. And um, in my life, I had to deal with a lot of abuse and neglect. And so having that background and that past, football really changed me to put my anger and put my emotions and everything that I have been through into playing football and doing it in a positive way. So um, that's one of the reasons why I love football. Football definitely changed my life. It's changed me a lot. It actually has showed me that even at the age of 37, I can still compete. And it brings females together. It brings us closer. And it's something that we can talk about and sit about and bond about. I see them as superstars and rock stars. And I want them to get to that point, to know and be sure and confident that you are a professional women's athlete now. We're providing this platform for you. We're providing this opportunity. Grasp it, take hold of it, and run with it. Well, to any female that is interested, I would say not let anybody deter you from the sport. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do, because you can't do it. We're just as good as the guys. We're athletic, we're fast, we bring the intensity. So never let anybody discourage you. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads. Down Mississippi.